Hey everybody, welcome back to Guns and Gadgets, your premier source for Second Amendment news. Uh, it is uh, two degrees outside, I believe, right now. Uh, it's freezing in the studio, uh, but I wanted to get up here as early as I could to let some good news out. Hopefully, potentially good news. Uh, and this is, we're going to be talking about Virginia and their tyrannical uh, governor, Adolph, I'm sorry, uh, Ralph Northam. So there have been a couple, there, there are currently, not have been, there are a couple movements uh, going right now in the state to uh, seek his recall, to remove him from office for a litany of reasons. Obviously the guy's violating his oath, violating the constitution, uh, and just about violating everything. He's daring everybody, basically, is what I'm saying to people. He's daring people to do something. Well, you may be aware of one of, there's a very pro to a very pro-liberty uh, state senator in Virginia whose name is Amanda Chase and uh, she yesterday gave an update about the recall effort she has started. So there's an actual senator from the inside who's working to remove this tyrannical governor. So there she she has submitted a couple FOIA requests. FOIA for those who aren't aware is the Freedom of Information Act and when you submit a FOIA request, they have a certain amount of time that is prescribed where they have to give you that response. Uh, she said she has re uh, put out two of these FOIA requests and they're waiting for the information for the second one to, uh, to be returned to them. Now, she has also said that if they extend the, the deadline and they don't give her the information she has asked for by the date that is prescribed according to uh, the Freedom of Information Act, then she will seek uh, an injunction from the court. She'll seek relief from the courts. So this could get very interesting very quick. And this is just the first step in the process that would need to be done to get this clown, this buffoon, out of office. And uh, I will have that information here. You know you can find that information here. Just like most things happening in the country here on Guns and Gadgets. There's a lot going on right now and I'm trying my best to keep up with it. Uh, but you can find it here. So if you're not subscribed, please consider doing so if you want the information on the Second Amendment and the infringements, the daily infringements that we are, uh, we are facing. And sprinkled in with some very good stuff as well once it does happen. It doesn't happen much lately, but that's also covered here. Uh, and we also have uh, speakers that, or, or major uh, two-way advocates who uh, come on the show and it's going to be a very regular thing. There's some stuff going on behind the scenes, uh, but it's going to, this, this channel is going to get very busy very soon with that. So if you could, please pass this along. Uh, we would all, even though I don't live in Virginia, we would all love to see this ass clown tossed out on his rear end. So please pass this information along so we can all keep up with the process and maybe, just maybe, somebody in Virginia needs this information and by us sharing it, it gets to them. So until we see each other again, I am Jared from the frigid corners of Massachusetts. Be safe, stay vigilant, carry a weapon, and stay warm. It's cold today. Take care, everybody.